right, how's everybody doing? We're going to play some Allods Online. I haven't really checked this out. Made a couple characters, ran around for like two minutes, kind of half ass understand what's going on. So we are going to check this game out and see what it's all about. Heard good things about it. It's a free-to-play MMO. I actually found out about this because I was playing Scarlet Blade as a review, doing a review on it. And uh, a couple people told me, I was talking it up, I was like, yeah, it seems kind of cheesy and blah, 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 but it's actually a pretty decent free-to-play MMO. And everybody's like, you haven't played Allods Online, that game's awesome, blah, blah, blah. So, here we are, Allods Online. We have a level one brute. We gotta get through the little tutorial place first. It's pretty typical, I guess. I think I'll make another cup of coffee where we get this whole boat on the road. Ha, <laughs> boat on the road. You don't drive boats on the road. All right, I'm back. The coffee is being made. Attention. The has been by the arm yourself. Equip your weapon and speak to Birchie the Merciless. Okay. Dude, my weapon is equipped. All right, well, he probably just handed it to me. Yeah, there we go. So now the weapon is equipped. Looks like we got a sword. All right, we are armed. We are Baz. The uh, blue orc. Alright, we're going out the door? No. Let's see. Oh, I got a target. Here we go. Virtue's Merciless. You just told me. I thought that guy was Virtue's Merciless. That's alright. So, uh, arm yourself. Equip your weapon and speak to Virtue's Merciless. Weapon equipped. We're good. Complete the mission. The Battle Cocktail Quest. Use the Battle Cocktail and then talk to Virtue the Merciless. Okay. Went in our little bag over here. We got it. Let's see. Decreases your damage taken. I'm all about it. You are busy. I'm going to close this. All right. Battle Cocktail. We've drank the Battle Cocktail. We're going to talk to Virtue again. It's awesome. Look. We've reached level two. Uh, you can right click on NPCs or other players to choose blah 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 text you know audio stuff, that's good. So repel the invaders and speak to worthy unyielding. I like how everybody's got adjectives in their names. So oh snap. Here we go. Alright, we're hitting them. We got a couple moves down here. Let's see what we got. Powerful blow. We've got aim shot. Alright, well, we just beat the crap out of him with our sword. We got a charge. We're gonna relocate these. All right, we gotta talk to this guy. I'd say the graphics are pretty nice in this game. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying the graphics so far. Uh, probably the best graphics I've seen on a free-to-play MMO. At least something that started off free-to-play, not one of these. We're gonna charge you for the first six months and then go to free-to-play.
Alright, so we gotta kill some, uh, some guys. We're gonna follow all these NPCs. They probably know where they're going. Uh, to everybody in the chat room right now, I'm, I am doing a uh, first time look that will go onto YouTube, but you guys are more than welcome to talk and chat and even log in a mumble. Let us know what you think of the game. Alright, let me out of this damn ship. There are. Oh! They were all invisible. Get them. That's why they had me drink that battle cocktail, I bet. Oh, I hit level three. I only killed like three guys and I've hit level three. All right, let's see. What are you doing in the safe? Get out of there. I got a sword over here, I'm gaining like points here. Maybe after we get some downtime, we'll read what these abilities are doing. Basic attack, uh, it takes seven energy. That's probably my energy, well energy's probably up there actually. What is this doing? Assigned stat points, all right. Well, strength is probably good. And uh, stat is very useful to your class. They're all very useful to my class, that's great. I'm gonna put one, what is, Ness. Uh, increase your chance to deal the maximum possible damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Damage and healing depending on the stats of targets. Uh, increase chance to do critical. Yeah, we like crits. Okay. So all those are kind of important. So we're going to talk to Sir Strange a lot. Sarah, Sarange Minx. That guy looks weird. All right, current quest, kill four League Troopers. We're done, complete. All right, take the activation key from the safe and bring it to Yaskol Odzi. All right. Opening objects, get out of here. All right, we got the activation key. Let's see, we're gonna read. I don't know what this stuff is. Combat advantage. A warrior can generate combat advantage in battle and use it to perform special abilities. Combat advantages reset after not attacking for 10 seconds or immediately after exiting combat. Okay. So it just builds up as we're beating on him. And makes a fight lean in our advantage. Kind of passive. I'm sure there's abilities that use it. Bombardier. Got Alright. Yep, you got the activation key. Good stuff. Use the cannon to hit the league ship. Alright, we're gonna get to shoot a cannon. That's pretty cool. Uh, common action. No. Okay. Common action spear right there. Firing. There we go. We shot him. Alright, we just gotta stay in here and keep firing this cannon against that ship, I guess. And there we go. Five shots. League ship has been hit. We're gonna go talk to this dude again. Oh, look like Valdo from freaking Soul, Soul Caliber. Quest completed. Fire. Follow the arrows. Look at that. Energy levels are falling. Damn, what's happening? I don't know. I mean, we're here. Astro, take it. We need to send someone there. Is anyone free to go? I'm free to go. Oh. Investigate the reactor room and speak to Saranj Kaffrey. Well, all right then. Follow the yellow arrows, got it. Holy crap, there's all types of bad guys. Oh, yeah, complete the mission. Use the uh, neutralizer to neutralize the magic shield, go fire elements. Okay. So we got a neutralizer. It's in our bag, but it's also right here. So we're neutralizing the shield. Thumb. Realize she's about to get neutralized in the face. And there it is. I'm sure we got a 
kill these guys. Jagged Slice. Uh, another move we got. Oh, you can pick up loot by an icon. That's kind of cool. A little contextual. I like the, I'm liking these contextual icons. Although they're probably like GPSs. You know, you drive a GPS too long and uh, you don't know where you're going because you always just rely on the GPS. You rely on them contextual clues all the time to do what you're doing. You probably will over time. I have no idea how to use the user interface. Got a whole bunch of stuff in our bag. Hey, look, we got better armor. We got a wife beater. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it's got a lot better stats, it looks like. That's uh, got better stats. And we got this uh, wildfire sword. Alright, alright. Got it going on. Kill this guy. Killed him. What's the yellow arrow for? Your target is dead. Oh, this is my target. And we'll go talk to Sarans and Copper again. We did it. Uh, we get a bow and a wand. Well, we're gonna take the bow. What's happening? Speak to Casimir Sablin in the reactor stuff? room. When will the energy supply be restored? <sighs> well, talk to me. Looks like I'll have to go to the Canyon ship by myself to return this. Oh, Otherwise. we're going the other way. Nope, nope, nope. I think I was supposed to watch that little interaction real quick. Yep, there it's guy. Now, I gotta say, if you're someone like me, I played World of Warcraft for a very long time. Years and years and years, I ran guilds and endgame rating and the whole nine. I've done everything that game's got to do. Did arenas for a while, did, did uh, all types of stuff, right? And uh, I kind of got burnt out on the game. This would be a really good free-to-play option. I, I could see myself playing this for a decent amount of time. Now, I haven't even got out of the newbie tutorial area, but just saying, like, out of what I'm seeing, if the game keeps up this type Wow! Wow! Too busy looking at the big dragon thing to to realize I, I needed a fight. I think we gotta get in here. Yep. Holy, that looks like an action hero event. All right, this is weird. Not sure what's going on. Jump to another ship now. We're gonna kill some of these, these bad guys fighting little monsters. Nope, that's their charge. The animations are a little wonky, I think. Overall, the graphics are pretty good. The animations are good enough. Alright, they're all dead. I don't think I can get to that guy now. Pursuing the Crusader. Not quite sure where I need to go. Not really telling me. Oh, and in this uh in this event one of my good friends that plays this game told me about this automotive, this little ball of yarn. So if you don't know where to go, you can click the little ball of yarn and it will run you to your location. So let's try that out. Yep, it just ran me here. I'm looking at this big monster and there's this guy with this giant teal cork. Oh, we gotta use an item. Look at that. We gotta destroy his shield so we can kill him. It's the same item we had before, right? The activation key, yep. Alright. Wow. That hurt. That's a pretty cool little graphical effect. So now we're gonna kill this dude. 
No, he looks like a badass. I'm wearing a wife beater. I'm like the Kurt Russell of orcs. Uh, what did he do? Oh, no. Oh, hey, he teleported us. So, basic tutorial, click the move. Get the hell out of here. Pursuing the Crusader, using the landing pad, travel to the land leaving sh uh, league ship, use the activation key, defeat Gratimir Kozlov, and speak to the next Imperial officer you find. And we did it. There we go. Here's the Empire. Listen carefully, I'm now going to read you the Commander's orders. Ahem, Imperial Headquarters Decree number 20-0030. For valor and heroism, displayed in combat against superior enemy forces, for bravery in combat on enemy territory, as well as preservation of valuable scientific discoveries, the Command Staff issues the following proclamation. Present, present the hero with a medal. Really? I'm reading this. I'm getting a medal. Big, huge event, and they're telling me how to do some dumb shit. Oh my god, close, 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 close. Hero, uh, with a medal and a week's leave for rehabilitation program at the Cloud Nine Health Resort. What else is there to say? Oh yeah, I'll accept that. Complete. Meeting this chief physician. Talk to Yaksul Tao, chief physician at Health Resort. And he's going to give me a weapon. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but let's do it. Okay, so I think we're now officially in the game proper. All right. If you notice, the art direction really has kind of a World of Warcraft vibe to it. It's kind of got that cartoony thing going on with vibrant colors and kind of stylistic, like look at the trees and stuff. But i got to say it's done really well. They, I mean, if you're going to copy somebody... It, it, this is the way to do it. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Saints Row when it first came out. Everybody's like, oh, Saints Row is a big copy of uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto. But it really came into itself as its own game. And uh, so let's pretend it's not a copy, which it is. But we'll pretend it's not a copy. It's an homage to World of Warcraft. And it, it's done properly. I have no idea. I have no problems with somebody copying something if done properly. Mace. We're going to take the mace. Alright, we're getting into I don't care what the NPCs are saying mode. We're gonna just go do some quests. I think they just taught me about automotive there. Alright, skill tree popped up. I think we're getting our first talent here. Whoops. We're gonna add point to strength, whatever. Holy crap, they're throwing so many windows at me right now. Question mark in the name of the monster, blah blah blah. What's this? Lucky moment. Sometimes fate smiles. Uh, on the adventures of Sarnot, enjoy the extra rewards. This bit, you know what? I'm done. Thanks. All right. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So recommended that we increase our powerful blow. Be a little bit stronger. Charge this one jagged slice okay we'll go with the recommended what do I know you know the guy looked all happy about his new uh, new abilities we got all types of stuff in our bag we got this new mace it's only a level three mace that's required level 8.10 damage for a second. It's, this is better than when I got better. But I have a shield. Ha! I got a shield now. That's pretty cool. Armor 14. Armor 14 is equal. How about the pants? 221, 21 to equal. And the shirt is armor 27, 27 to equal. It's like my little noob outfit. Oh, can I equip? Hey, how does that work out? What's my character page? Whoa, whoa, ah. Uh, what do we got here? Stable, spellbook, guild. I don't have a guild. I can find a guild. Patronage, character. Key is I. I don't know what the hell kind of sense that makes. You can't drag the window. But uh, we, ha we do have a spot for a bow, so we're going to go ahead and equip our bow. Blam, there's our bow. All right. So, I guess we're going to go up these stairs. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Combat dummy. We're going to try this automotive. Automotive travel. Uh, 
No, is it just me, or does the automotive travel cheapen the experience in the game, I think? Those are combat dummies. We're gonna run over there. So we have to kick three combat dummies' asses. Shouldn't be too difficult. They don't, I'm pretty sure they don't fight back. I just got to use my charge. Done. Combat through three out of three. Anyways, what was it saying? Sometimes fate smiles and adventures of Sarnot. Enjoy their the amount of experience earned from killing monsters has been increased by hundred percent. The amount of prestige earned is increased, the amount of experience, so that's probably just because I'm new and they wanted to hook me up. Kinda get me in the game, see how things how I how I dig it, you know. All right, reward. We're gonna get a uh, belt. Just one strength, one finesse. And this sucks. So we're gonna take the bodybuilder's belt. All right, gather 10, 12 calberries and return to Yaxel. Now you notice I don't have a mini map like markers. Is it? Yeah, I don't have like an arrow that floats around my minimap telling me kind of where I gotta go. I think that's kind of what. Wait a minute. Did I not accept your mission? Is that what's going on? Accept. Huh. So we're just gonna follow our yarn ball as that guy to our right is doing. Oh. And we're gonna go get some cowberries. Oh. How does it look like berries? Let's go check it out. Oh, snap, the bees are attacking. I got him. Killed me a bee. Alright, we're gonna shoot him with a bow. stat points uh, all right we'll put it in the crit shirt of the adventurer not sure what that was but I equipped it is this better than the shield I got armor 34 armor 32 currently equipped with crude shield no it's better Probably find somebody to sell all that crap to. I mean, they got those contextual things for everything. Like you walk over to this thing and it's like, hey, use the cowberry bush. So we're gonna go back to the, the quest giver now and turn it in. I wonder how configurable this UI is. It doesn't look like anything can be dragged or really moved around. Hey, look, we got built-in ping and performance. That's well hidden into the UI. That's good. It's not like big obvious ugly thing. Alright, we got our berries. I'm a big mighty freaking warrior and I'm picking berries for your ass. Defeat five spark elementals and three pond elementals. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now we're getting somewhere. We're gonna go kill something, uh. Let's see. It's 831 damage per second. No, that's no better. Oh well. So we're gonna go kill some of these. We'll just follow a yarn ball. We're 
We're gonna go see if we can get some of these pond elementals and these spark elementals. Oh, I bet you those are them. Pond elemental, yep, there we go. Let's get them. So we're gonna charge one. Pull one with an arrow. And it makes me wonder, like, being it, this is probably on the top of most. I mean, it's not gonna hold a candle to something like Star Wars or anything like that, but it's definitely, definitely a good game. And I, w I wonder what kind of money the studio is making off this free to play. Because I, I can't help but think that if they had advertised this a lot better, that they'd do a lot better. Like, take a little bit of money, pour it into some advertising, you know what I'm saying? World of Warcraft has huge blitz campaigns, and they charge to play. Like a game like this, like this, this, if I was say younger, if I was like 14 or 15, I didn't have the money to spend on an MMO. Like without a doubt, I'd be playing something like this. All right, we're done. I'm just, I'm just killing them. What's going on. This is ridiculous. Look how many look how many mobs are here. Well, like an instant respawn rate. That's kind of crazy. Not necessary. It looks unnatural. It doesn't. It, this doesn't look like if I was really on the countryside in some fantasy land, that there'd be all these freaking pond elementals just kicking it on the on the side of the, the pond. You know. Like that's a lot. I wonder if the entire game is going to be like that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And there's our spark elementals, and of course there's four million of them out in the field. <laughs> Elemental substance. We don't know what it is. It's just kind of weird substance. Gotta kill eight of these dudes. And it has, it's the only thing I found that's aggressive is the bees in the park right now, which is kind of odd that they're aggressive and nothing else is. It's okay to go fucking slaughter spark elementals by the frickin' dozens, but do not pick cowberry, cowberry bush berries, whatever the hell they are, from the park in town. That's a big no-no. Where's our experience bar? I'm gonna assume it's this one. Yeah, there we go. All right, we're done. Let's go run back and turn that bad boy in. Man, I'm tired. It was a long night last night. Should be playing some Defiance, but the server crashed unexpectedly. So, while he's running back, I'm going to grab a cup of coffee, and I'll be right back, guys.
<clears throat> All right, we're back. Give me my reward. We get a new chest. I guess we're rocking leather for now. That's what we're wearing anyways. Maybe that's all this guy wears. Who knows? I'll take this new mission. Yarn ball our way over to it. Grab this rapid slash. Astral Dust calls one of the twelve great martyrs and summons an astral demon. Sure. He just scattered the hell out of that dust. Look at him. He's a dust scattering fool. Oh, there we go. Guys, mission in. Do do do. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here. It'd be neat to. What level am I? I'm six. Probably can't, but we're gonna look to see if there's any type of queue system. Here's our quest log. We can read what quest we've got. Even that can't be really dragged around. What do we got? Active, completed. That's cool. A lot of games forget to have that completed quest tab to see what you've already done. Uh, world mysteries, science at the service of the empire. I don't know. That, well, that requires further investigation later. What else we got? Stable. We don't have any mounts. Spellbook. That's all our basic attacks and stuff. We got abilities. Oh, oh. Martyr salvation. Okay. Patronage. I'm not quite sure what this is. Looks pretty neat. I'm as durable as iron. You are as durable as iron. I don't know why I gotta read that with a crazy accent, but. Alright, what do we got? Character. I mean, yep, that's our character pain, right? Currency. Drops of Merc can be. We got drops of Merc. Can we use currency in Purgatory? You can give them to the Goblin Spirit in exchange for immediate resurrection. That's pretty cool. Or you can cast special patron spells and change the stat bonus granted by your patron. That's alright. We got a talent point still? Oh, we start getting these other grids as we go up in levels. Alright. So we get one more. What's this? Agonizing Strike. Kinda wanna kick someone in the face. Seems like a pretty cool ability to me. What's this guy? What's this? Martyr salvation. Prayer to your patients restores your man in health. Alright. Alright. Sounds good to me. And uh We were looking down here, world map, quest log, bag. See, what's that two? I keep thinking it's like two things in my bag are upgrades. 
for me. Oh, item shop. Here we go. Chest of the recruit. Alright. We got some suspenders, it looks like. A handful of confetti. We'll keep that for later. Alright, well, let's go to our character panel and look. Let's see, look, we got like brutes apparel. Yeah, we got vanity items. That's cool. I dig it. There's got to be some kind of a profession. There's got to be some form of a uh, Q panel. Is it battlegrounds? Oh, map, talents, bag. Oh, we got stuff down here. I didn't even see the stuff down here. Bonus. I'm shop available once you complete your starting adventure. So we're not done with our starting adventure. Let's just keep trucking. We gotta get done with our starting adventure. The music's pretty weak. There's something I, I can bring up. The music in this game is pretty weak. <laughs> There's not a, a whole lot to it. It didn't seem to like change or anything. Oh, and I guess that's about it guys. I mean I could sit here and keep doing quests all day but uh... That was our first look at Allods. I think I will continue to play this. Although I'll probably never actually get hardcore into this game. I probably will comp continue to play it. And uh, So that's that. I, I recommend it. This is definitely a recommended free to play MMO. If you're looking for an MMO that you can play. Uh, jump in, jump out as you feel. It's free. Oh, it's got falling damage. Rift got rid of that. I definitely, definitely recommend Allods.